Just like any other morning, I woke up and prepared my morning dark roast coffee. I walked to the lakeshore path hoping I could find my ideal journaling spot. Right away, I noticed an empty bench. That was the spot. I knew this was meant to be. And so I walked towards it feeling confident and optimistic about the journaling to come. As I sat down and began to think about how I would start my journal, I took some time to record my surroundings first. To record the many flowers and the rocks, all the greenery surrounding this bench area, and the branches that hung over the lake. Once I had a good feel of my spot, I pulled out my journal and began to write about this place and draw a sketch of the beautiful and colorful view. While making my drawing, my first animal encounter was with this bumblebee that came over to the flowers to my right. And so I went back and wrote about it in my journal. And that was it for my first day of journaling. It felt a bit weird doing it honestly, but all in all, it wasn't too bad. Now it's time for day numero dos. Another morning, another cup of coffee. But this day started off on the wrong side of a parking ticket. So to switch my mood around, I thought about my nature spot and I went there. As I approached my bench, I was relieved to see no one was there again. I sat down and again the first thing I did was record my surroundings. Some ducks went by this time. Finally, some animals I could actually observe. And that's the first thing I did in my journal. I began to write and draw what I had seen. I tried being more observant and took more pictures of the plants around me. I noticed some spider webs on some of the branches to my left, and it's something I decided to include in my journal. Soon after, some ants started crawling beside me. I couldn't tell if they were fighting or if one was just trying to help the other. It was interesting to watch though, I gotta say. I wasn't able to get it on video, but another ant started going up my arm as I was writing. Maybe after sitting at the bench for a while, they thought I was part of nature or something, who knows. And that concluded another day. At this point, I noticed I started to like this activity. And so this time, I actually looked forward to coming back to this bench. The more I wrote at the lecture path and in class, little by little, I began to notice more things at my nature spot. Not only did I begin to appreciate more the waves hitting the rocks beside me, but I began to notice the color changes in the leaves. I noticed a cigarette next to me and some empty cans a few steps away. I even paid attention to the name of the bench. I wonder if Amy ever came to this spot and journaled about nature as well. The plant life around me didn't seem beautiful anymore, and more and more of this ugly side to nature became more apparent to me. Dead leaves and spiders walking all around you, wondering why you were there maybe, who knows. My bench seemed different now. But maybe I was finally realizing, thanks to this journaling activity, that there's more to nature than just pretty flowers and sunsets. Who would have known that by writing in a journal, you could come to such realizations? Well, until next time my bench. Now, I'll probably just wait until spring comes around though, that's for sure. <laughs>